is the New York Living Health and Fitness Report. Computers are revolutionizing the way prosthetic limbs are made, in some cases giving new hope to amputees whose cases had seemed hopeless. Here now with part two of our special report is New York's Cheryl Wills with more on a man's journey to walk again. In part one, we brought you the story of Sam Lopez, who waited nearly 30 years for a miracle. When he was 10 years old, he became paralyzed, and doctors in his native Puerto Rico amputated both of his legs. But they didn't stop there. To save his life, they removed his pelvis, leaving nothing from the torso down. Whenever Lopez tried to get a prosthesis, he was turned down cold. Never lost hope that, you know, that I would find somebody that, you know, have confidence in me. And Sam approached technicians at East Coast Orthotic and Prosthetic Corp and told them that he wanted to walk. And this time, Sam refused to take no for an answer, even though experts told him his case was extremely rare. Because you're not working with much in a sense of uh, not the normal below the knee or above the knee, uh, or if it's just one-sided where he's missing his pelvis. He's a guy that's missing his entire pelvis. But new technology is revolutionizing the prosthetic and orthotic industry, just in time for cases like Sam Lopez. And armed with new devices, the technicians put their heads together to make the impossible possible. First, they had to create a sort of pelvis. We had to be able to create a socket, not to put any pressures on them, okay, and basically for them to sit in there and not have any pressure where he would get any kind of ulceration. Then they created prosthetic hips, legs, ankles, and feet. No easy task. When he goes to advance one leg, okay, or he, he puts weight to one side, his leg advances, then he puts weight on the other side. Sam's case was a real challenge for the workers here at East Coast Orthotic and Prosthetic. For example, most cases take less than a week. Sam's case took five months. And those five months gave Sam Lopez new life, and at last, a new way to walk. In his condition, you know, you, you look at someone, you just have to say that he had the desire, and, and, you know, he's an example that if someone puts their mind to something, they can do it. And Sam definitely did do that. Wow. We just gave him the tools to do that. They gave me my dream, you know, for one. Gave me uh, hope. You know, and hopefully, you know, with me showing you people, you know, the what they did for me, maybe they can help somebody else. That'd be a better gift. Indeed, it's been one small step after another for Sam Lopez, one giant leap for technology. Cheryl Wills, New York One. Now here's a look at last night's winning lottery number. 